close-up poll. It's been a day of hard and meaningful work for Ravi Kumar and his team. Now the polling process is at the scheduled of closure. At the time fixed for closure, distribute voter slips signed by PRO to all existing electors in the queue in a reverse order, which means the last person in the queue gets serial number 1. Polling has to continue till all these slip holders cast their votes. The last elector casts his vote. It's time now for Ravi Kumar to formally declare the polls closed. At the close of poll, the close button on the control unit of the EVM needs to be pressed. The total votes polled in the EVM noted. Refix the close button cap, open the bottom compartment and switch off power. Disconnect the cable. Now pack the CU and BU in their carrying cases. Seal the cases and fix address tags. Ravi will now prepare the account of votes in part 1 of form 17C in duplicate. The total votes recorded in the EVM should match the total number of votes as entered in the Register of Voters Form 17A minus the cumulative number of voters not allowed to vote. Also carefully note that in Form 17C, the serial numbers and the total number of green paper seals supplied to you and used at the polling station are to be recorded. Remember to put the details of green paper seals and not of the outer paper strip seals with A, B, C, D in Form 17C. However, in the PRO diary, similar details are to be filled for both green paper seals as well as the outer paper strip seal with A, B, C, D. In the PRO diary, such details are also to be filled for the special tag which has a hole to fit around the close button and is used for sealing the inner compartment of the results section. You have to be very careful to correctly prepare the account of votes and of various seals etc. in Form 17C and in the PRO diary in view of their critical importance in the process of election. After the close of poll, all the papers and materials relating to the poll are required to be put in their respective packets. PRO should allow candidates or their election or polling agents to affix signatures and seals on the envelopes or packets containing the following if they want. Copies of Electoral Roll Register of Voters Form 17A Voter Slips Used Tender Ballot Papers and List of Tendered Votes in 17B Unused Tendered Ballot Papers List of Challenged Votes unused and damaged paper seals, if any, appointment letters of polling agents, any other papers that RO has declared to be kept in sealed packets. The following packets are to be deposited with the EVM at the collection center. The account of votes recorded and paper seals, Form 17C. The declarations by the presiding officer before the poll, during the poll and after close of poll. The presiding officer's diary. The visit sheet and the 16-point report for observer and RO. Besides these, four more packets have to be prepared. The first packet will be superscribed as statutory covers and will contain the sealed cover containing marked copies of electoral roll, the sealed cover containing register of voters form 17A, the sealed cover containing voter slips, the sealed cover containing unused tendered ballot papers, the sealed cover containing used tendered ballot papers and list of tendered votes in 17B.
even if a statement or record put in any cover is nil, then a slip noting on it that such statement or record is nil should be put in the cover. The second packet is superscribed as non-statutory covers and contains the cover containing copies of electoral roll other than the marked copy. The cover containing appointment letters of polling agents in Form 10. This needs to be sealed. The cover containing election duty certificate in Form 12B. The cover containing list of challenged votes in Form 14. This is the other cover in the packet that needs to be sealed. The cover containing list of blind and infirm electors in Form 14A and the declarations of their companions. The cover containing declarations obtained from electors as to their age and the list of such electors. The cover containing receipt book and cash, if any, on account of challenged votes. The cover containing unused and damaged paper seals, if any, this also ought to be sealed. The cover containing unused voter slips. The cover containing unused and damaged special tags. The cover containing unused and damaged strip seals. The third packet is for miscellaneous items like the handbook for presiding officers, manual of electronic voting machines, indelible ink set with stoppers properly fixed with molten wax applied, self-inking pads, metal seal of the presiding officers, the arrow cross mark rubber stamp, cup for setting the indelible ink. All other items, if any, go into the fourth packet. Any other papers that the returning officer has directed to be kept in a sealed packet also need to be sealed. Remember the following while packing the poll material. Each of the five smaller covers or packets which are placed inside the packet superscribed statutory covers are required to be individually sealed. Seal the packet superscribed statutory covers after getting its contents checked at the collection center. Let us recapitulate. First, prepare the following four covers to be deposited with the EVM. 17C PRO Diary Declarations Visit Sheet plus 16 Point Report Further, prepare a total of four packets at the polling station for deposition at the collection center. These are the packet superscribed statutory covers, the packet superscribed non-statutory covers, the packet containing handbook and other miscellaneous items, the packet containing all other items.